Hello from Trapper Ranger. Beautiful day. I just cut a hole here and I'm going to put some snares in. There's the beaver house. You can see and in the swamp there's another beaver house and two sets of dams. And the highway is just over the hill there. It's been causing a ruckus with the beaver have. Anyways, we're going to go after this beaver. We're lucky we'll get a few of them out of here. Anyways, what I've done here now, we have trees that were put in here yesterday. And uh, we had a connie bear in here. And I'll show you there's a connie bear with the, the set and everything else. But what has happened is that there's uh, my wire and my uh, little bucket of uh, screws, nails, knapsack, pliers. Well, we're going to set this up as a snare this time because there in here is uh, ice, water, and then the main ice, and then water again. So this way I figure if we'll put snares in there, we should catch the beaver. And I'll uh, uh, continue the video after I have the snares put on the pole. Okay, here we are with the finished product. It takes a little bit of time, but we have three snares. Two with cam locks and one with magic uh, cable memory wire they call it and so we're going to just put that down here and see what happens you can see I have a carrot and some bait of the popper there I haven't uh, done much snaring for beaver it's always been trapping most of my snaring has been for lynx, coyote and wolves and you'll notice I've got a little bit of real light line holding my snares in place Usually, I like to hang my snares, if I have to, with dental floss. That way it's a little easier for me to see as I've been getting older. So anyways, I'm going to put this into the, the hole right here, and we'll see what happens in the next day. Take care. Thank you. Well here we are at the set, I just finished pounding it in and uh, hopefully that we're going to get a beaver here. We put a little bit of work into this set, usually with traps it isn't as much difficulty. But if you've got any comments, I always appreciate it. Thank you very much, you have a good day and we're going to go and set a few more traps. As you can see, just over there is the beaver house that I set the snares onto. And right here you can see that the beaver are coming out of the hole and feeding on the bank here. So what I've done, I put a ram snare and you'll see there's a little piece of wire on the end. I forgot my ram safety so what I made sure that I had the wire tied around as I set the ram snare. I didn't want that to... It's always important if you don't have your ram setters please junior trappers and rangers make sure that you make sure you tie wire around so if it does spring back it doesn't knock out your teeth or hit you in the face or break an arm. But anyways we're gonna see what happens here with this ram snare. Right here is another perfect place where I'm going to put a ram snare. And you can see where the beaver has been chewing that old poplar so he's hungry. And I have a connie bear and I'm going to put another ram snare uh, or another connie bear there. Just thought I'd show you 
what is happening and they're they want to come to those poplar and the highway is just over across the there and they've been damming up the highway and causing lots of problems for highways so we're going to try to uh, do a little bit of cleanup on the beaver here before I go on uh, holidays uh, on the 16th with my good woman for a few days to Aruba anyways I'm going to miss trapping but I couldn't turn down this trip that jockey had offered my wife that's a uh, jockey person to person Anyways, uh, I want to just thank, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll show you the final sets here before I close off today. Thank you. Okay, uh, you Junior Rangers, you see what I'm saying here? If you look very close, I'm going to set this ram snare. The safety is on right here and I have a piece of wire here and I will remove that wire when I'm all set and ready to go. It's very simple and I'll adjust that snare a little better and that uh, beaver will uh, walk through or maybe an otter. We'll have to wait and see. But I hope you like this set. I'll uh, show you in a minute when I'm finished. Okay, we're all finished setting things up. You'll see uh, it's all ready to fire and I got the safety wired to the tree just a little bit there. And just enough when the beaver comes that it will spring it loose. You see I have it wedged in there and I took my good old Leatherman here and cut a little notch in this tree to hang the snare and a little stick there so the beaver will go over that stick and right over here I have nothing but the best but Barnes Beaver Lure, I just love it. It's caught Russell and I a lot of beaver. And we got on a stick here. So hopefully that beaver will smell that and come whipping through. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And uh, uh, happy trails. And uh, keep safe. And God bless Each you all. situation. Remember we were put a snare. We put a snare in this hole, and believe it or not, the ram didn't go off, and the beaver is caught in the snare. Let's take a closer look. This is quite something. There you can have a look at the beaver inside. Get a little bit long. Have a good look at him here. Now, so we're going to try to get this beaver out, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that I I'm going to make sure that he's dead. Anyways, we'll just get back to you in a few minutes. Thank you. Well, we pulled the beaver out of the hole that it broke through. I released the uh, ram snare and pulled the beaver out of the hole. I guess I'll be doing some nice washing when I do this beaver here. But he's not frozen. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this big beaver. But that was something the ram didn't go off and he was snared around the head. So that was good. So I made sure the ram went off. And uh, what a catch. Amazing. Around the head, ram didn't go off. Got this nice beaver. Well, I'll tell you, that sure made it interesting. And believe it or not, I got all this caught on a video camera. So that should be interesting. Anyways, it was right by the hole. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, I got another set to check. And uh, we'll get back to you. What a great day it is in northern Manitoba. Thank you for watching. Yeah, and here we're in the skinning shed. And you see some nice rats that Russell just finished picking up a few days ago. And there's a beaver that I've caught. And uh, we're going to uh, let him dry a bit. And then we're going to uh, have a good time looking after him. This is a beautiful beaver. 
I just wanted to show you here. Of course, you know why this beaver is kind of special for me? This is my first beaver caught in a ram snare. Always been conny bears or regular snares. So I'm quite happy. Well, from the skinning shed, we will uh, continue to uh, do our um, skinning of this beaver and we'll get back to you later. Have a great, great day. Bye bye. Yeah, here we are. I'm going to start skinning this beaver. It's a nice beaver. It's on the table here. Have our knives ready. And uh, I just wanted to show you the beaver at the start. All you young trappers and uh, junior rangers, it's quite experienced to catch fur, but it's important to look after it properly too and take care of it. Now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look after this beaver and take care of it, and that'll be in good shape when we send it to the market. This beaver came out of that hole in the ice, in the bank, and got caught, and actually the ram didn't go off. He backed up and he choked himself. But uh, I'm anxious to see what happens now that I don't have another snare in there, but I have Connie Bears and Snares on the trail. And with the video camera there, the trail camera, it's going to be nice to see what it actually takes place. So, hope to talk to you shortly. Bye-bye.